uh, that Israel is waging. But then I see that the stock impact has not yet panned out. So I guess we'll have to see the implications later. But I thought we could pick MCX because there was that significant development over the weekend where the SEBI has given it the go-ahead for its commodities platform. So from the fundamental aspect, Dharmesh, uh, what are the benefits that MCX could uh, get from this? And is this already in the price? Because we've seen a 17% odd uh, increase in the price over the last month itself. Good yeah, morning, Alex. Greetings for the day. Uh, see, what has happened with MCX uh, with this uh, onboarding of TCA software platform, what it will do is it will reduce the cost of uh, operations. And that is it, because uh, how the revenue will have a further traction, the business side of it is not the question at all. And that is where the things are coming up from. Assume and uh, what's the cost they will be paying to TCS for the software is still not being you know clear. They have not indicated our price or what is the kind of savings which will be done. Uh, going by what the sources or the markets are expecting is around say 80 to 90 percent kind of a gain, and that gain would be almost equal to the top line they are making. And going by the valuation multiple, as you rightly pointed out, 17-18% kind of a who has already happened on MCX. So on trailing basis, is trading at 85-90 times P multiple. But if we discount the, assuming the impact of uh, this uh, change to the software, which will accrue in next financial year, it's still trading at around 40 to 45 times P multiple, lower than 20%, which the BC is commanding as of now. So still, there is a room for further, you know, upside bias around 20% kind of stock price movement can still happen from where, but that should be the end of it because as far as volumes and business side is concerned, I have not seen any significant progress in MCX as compared to say NEC or a BSC volumes, which have gone up significantly. And the products which they have in offer, these exchanges will also come up with a full four year and a platter of products which MCX has. So a stiff competition already out there. So advice is for the clients who are holding the stock, they may continue to hold so. And in fact, they may have a trailing stock loss because fundamentally I don't see it as a wealth creator from here on. And just 15, 20% more top up, all of pop up can still be on the stock. You mentioned are the top three today. Uh, Darvish, uh, uh, on the fundamentals, uh, what are your top picks at this juncture? Of course, this is uh, longer term in nature. Yeah, definitely. See, Alex, since we are setting into the earnings season, so uh, I mean, multiple recommendations I would like to hold. But one stock which stands clearly out is Reliance Industries. I think this correction and any correction thereafter should be a good opportunity to buy this stock. And this is a long term call based on two to three years kind of earning trajectory and the value unlocking of the different businesses which will happen over this uh, time period. So, some apart valuation, if you do based on FY26. 4200 rupees that uh, considers oil to chemical retail geo and the other businesses which uh, the company is into so we are recommending this uh, to our clients to continue to you know keep on buying and in a staggered manner for any correction i don't see stock price correcting uh, further more maybe 1900 2000 levels is where it can uh, from, uh, from a good base and good value buying can emerge, or strong value buying can emerge there after sensing the kind of turbulence we are into. And don't expect fireworks in, in say, next 15 20 days. If you are a buy and hold kind of an investor, so this is a good stock to keep on accumulating. And uh, target for two years is 4200. If you look at Punavala uh, Finca for the last five, six quarter, the run rate has been extremely high as far as the disbursements are concerned. At the same time, the EU growth has been extremely strong. So still the asset base is very small compared to the other NBFC space. It's still sitting in the AUM of 20,000 odd crores only. And going forward, what I believe is they have plenty of opportunity scope to grow this business and the management has been very aggressive. They have done the top management risk and after that, the things have been working on well for the company, the promoter is very gung-ho about the entire business space and personally he has been focusing into the business. So my own sense is that 25 to 30 percent kind of an AUM growth, that is the asset size growing, will be the norm for the next couple of years to three years kind of a time frame if you are looking at FY26. At the same time, the asset quality improvement has been significantly high in every quarter and every update management is citing about asset quality improvement. 
with the present roi and names of around 3 and half percent i think valuation we should not be looking at as a historical or the comparative multiples of say uh, price to book value of 5 or 6 uh, what we are looking at is uh, doubling more than 3x kind of an aum growth over the next uh, three years so 20000 crore is likely to go up to 60000 plus crores in next three years based on that if one is you know looking at holding this stock for at least two years time frame it's a फ्यूचर अर्निंग प्राइस इन एट करेंट लेवल Totally, Alex. I think that uh, current levels, uh, all the, I mean, next two years earnings is already discounted in the price, and then after one has to take a fall. So I mean, the fresh buying has to be done, even if you are buying at a higher level. It doesn't matter as long as the other side of the trajectory is very clear. That is the upside trajectory. So one should wait for at least two, three quarters to see how the earnings are panning out. Is it panning out the way the stock price has moved, and what is the order inflow likely to be there? Not to forget, next year would be an election year, so policies and you know. a government uh, kind of uh, orders do change uh, depending upon who so is sitting on the commerce so we have to bear that in mind and i think the present uh, geopolitical tension was a uh, right excuse to take profits in that so profit booking is happening fresh entry is not suggested alex uh, i think uh, if a holding it you must continue to hold it but uh, fresh buying should not be there